All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Maneuver Note Splitter mod, which was originally made by form user Nathan1. It's now been resurrected by Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a very useful tool that'll let you take a singular Maneuver Node and split it into multiples and this is extraordinarily useful if your ship has a low thrust to weight ratio that one maneuver node just may be too much of a burn for those small engines to do so splitting it into multiple nodes is really your only option and this mod helps you figure that out so let's uh, jump into the tracking station and over to this ion powered space probe i've got in orbit and see how this thing works but before we do we got some dependencies to talk about as this is going to require three other mods to work those being the click through blocker toolbar controller and the space tux library now with those in your game you just gotta go into your world put a ship into orbit and create a maneuver node this whole thing centers around maneuver nodes so yeah you're gonna have to make one and let's just kind of get ourselves into a little bit of an intercept with the moon there yeah, that'll work. And then, well, we got a tiny little probe. And this maneuver node here is going to require over 700 delta V. That's a lot. And it may not be able to do it. So we're going to split it into multiple maneuvers. And to do that, we need to go over to this button right here, which will open up the node splitter UI. Now, sadly, the icon is just a white blob here. There is, in fact, an icon in the mod folder that just doesn't seem to be appearing, which uh, is just, I guess, a bug. Hopefully that gets fixed. But nonetheless, hit the button, open the UI, and this is how we can split up our maneuver node by either Delta V, the orbital period, or the apoapsis. And no matter which one of these you do choose, they all work basically the same, where you're going to create additional maneuver nodes based on whatever you put into this box here. So for the Delta V, say for instance, our little craft can only do 200 Delta V reliably in a single good burn. Well, we can just type that in. And if we hit apply, well, look at that. We have two maneuvers now. We have one maneuver here, which is doing that 200 meters per second of Delta V. And then another maneuver node <laughs> doing the remaining 520 something odd Delta V. Not ideal. You're going to want to add in a couple of more maneuvers. And to do that is pretty simple. But first... Let's revert back to our original maneuver node, which is easy because we got an undo button here. And if we click that, boom, we're back to the original thing. Now, like I said, we got 720 some odd Delta V here. So if we add another maneuver node by hitting the green plus, well, it'll add a second one again doing 200 Delta V. It'll actually copy down the number you used in the last box. And, but that's still not going to be enough, so let's add another, and that's going to add up to 600 total, which would leave us with 128 Delta V remaining for a final fourth burn, and that's perfectly doable. So if we hit apply, there we go. We got the first 200, second 200, third 200, and then the final one doing that remaining Delta V. Now, you're probably going to notice something here, and that is that we no longer actually have that encounter with the moon. And that's because if we do undo real quick and then apply again, you'll notice the final ejection will happen one day and 45 minutes later than originally planned. And this is a key thing about this mod. You're going to want to plan ahead with your original maneuver node by adding time to it to get to where you need to be to make sure you have enough time to do these multiple maneuvers because as of right now if we just do it at that current time we're gonna get up there to where we want it to be it's just not gonna be exactly where we wanted to be so yes planning ahead with your maneuvers is going to be quite important 
Now, we do have one more thing in here, and that is this repeat. If we do pop that down, we get another little UI element that basically it'll do these different maneuvers until you reach a specified altitude to basically get it to stop at that as kind of a safeguard. Personally, I really haven't been using this uh, just because of how I tend to do things. I've just been leaving it to these because I like using the Delta V because it makes a lot more sense to me. But if you do want this, it is an option there to have it stop at that particular altitude, which is pretty cool. And I just love this. Now, uh, the basically, this whole function here works the same no matter which of the different ones you're doing. You can add a different uh, maneuver nodes with the different burns or different orbital periods or different altitudes for the apoapsis. And if you do need to delete one, you just hit the little X to take it away and you're good to go. And you can add quite a few of these. Let's say if we add it in to like a hundred and oh, actually revert back to the original one. There. Perfect. And then, you know, that's the first 100, the 200, 300, 400, 500 there. 600 in the last one. Well, 700 in the remaining will be that, like, 28 Delta V. Apply that, and there we go. Now, again, that's three days later than your originally expected one. So you really do want to make sure on your maneuver node that you are adding additional time to these things to make sure that it's actually reaching where you want when you want. Because this time here, this now plus nine hours that I've added to it, is going to be the last burn. So all these burns are going to happen before that. So just plan ahead, plan accordingly, and you'll be good with creating all of your weird little maneuver nodes. And this is wonderful. And it doesn't matter where what you're doing with the node, if you're going way out into the universe or just doing something close by with the moon, it is a very useful tool that'll really help you out with splitting these up to make the trip more manageable. But that really is all to go over with this thing. Not a whole lot, but a very useful tool. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.